the next property is reaction with water concerning group 14 elements carbon silicon and germanium are not affected by water tin decomposes steam to form dioxide and dihydrogen gas lead is not affected by water due to the formation of an oxide layer over its surface the reactivity of halogens with water is interesting actually the reactivity decreases from fluorine to iodine fluorine oxidizes water to oxygen chlorine and bromine react with water to form corresponding hydrohalic and hypohalous acids the reaction of iodine with water is non spontaneous in fact iodide ion can be oxidized by oxygen in acidic medium to form iodine it is actually a reverse reaction of fluorine with water the next property is reaction with hydrogen so when you consider for group 15 elements they form the hydrides of the type eh3 where e is the group 15 element here the reducing ability bond length positive value of heat of formation they increase actually ammonia is the element ammonia is the compound which has got negative heat of formation that is exothermic compound while all others are endothermic compounds and bond dissociation energy stability basic character bond angle they decrease okay so here these are the orders of melting point and boiling point of these hydrides coming to group 16 the hydrides they have the general formula h2e again e is the group 16 element here the acidic nature reducing character positive value of heat of formation they increase here water and h2s are exothermic compounds the remaining are endothermic compounds okay bond enthalpy stability decrease okay so and these are the orders of by order of boiling point and melting points of these hydrides coming to group 17 they form the hydrides of hx so here acidic strength reducing nature they increase from hf to hi whereas bond enthalpy stability would decrease so these are the orders corresponding to the melting point and boiling point of hydrides of group 17 the next property is reactivity towards acids and alkalis here when we consider group 13 elements boron does not react with acids and alkalis even at moderate temperature but aluminum is amphotic concentrated nitric acid renders aluminum passive by forming a protective layer on its surface okay now here when we consider the reaction with metals okay here higher chlorides are covalent while lower chlorides are actually less covalent than the higher chlorides the next important property is reaction with oxygen here b2o3 is acidic al2o3 ga2o3 they are amphoteric IN2O3, Tl2O3 are basic. Concerning group 14, SiO exists only at higher temperature. Usually, higher oxides are more acidic than lower oxides. Okay, CO2, SiO2, GO2 are acidic, whereas SnO2 and PbO2 are amphoteric. Carbon monoxide is neutral. GO is acidic, whereas SnO and PbO are amphoteric. Concerning group 15 the oxides of nitrogen and phosphorus they are purely acidic and that of arsenic and antimony they are amphoteric while that of bismuth is basic because it is metallic in nature concerning to group 16 so2 is gas seo2 is a solid the reducing property of dioxides decreases from so2 to teo2 actually so2 is a reducing agent while teo2 is an oxidizing agent okay concerning group 17 actually fluorine can form two compounds with oxygen one is o2f2 the other one is of2 actually we will call them as fluorides okay oxygen fluorides these are called oxygen fluorides okay because the electronegativity of fluorine is more than oxygen the later compound of2 is thermally stable at 298k stability order of oxides that is oxides of iodine are more stable than chlorine and the oxides of chlorine are inter more stable than that of the bromine 
This is due to the combination of certain thermodynamic and kinetic factors. Okay. Next, higher oxides are more stable than lower oxides. The oxides of chlorine and bromine are oxidizing agents and iodine pentoxide is useful in the estimation of carbon monoxide. The next important property is reaction with halogens. Concerning group 13 elements, they form the halides of the type MX3, but thallium triiodide is not formed. Concerning the halides of group 14, except carbon, all elements can directly react with halogens and they can form the corresponding halides. Usually, MX4 is covalent, but SNF4, PBF4, they are ionic and PBI4 does not exist. Okay. Stability of dihalides increases down the group. GX4 is more stable than GX2, whereas PBX2 is more stable than PBX4. Here, you can explain that the stability of PB2 plus compound is due to the inert pair effect. Okay. Now, the another interesting point is, except carbon tetrachloride, the other tetrachlorides are easily hydrolyzed by water because the central atom of this 14th group element can accommodate lone pair of electrons that are given by the oxygen atom because of the presence of d orbital in the 14th group element. Okay, so, this is an important property. Concerning group 15, the halides EX3 and EX5 type of halides will be there. Penta halides are more covalent than the trihalides. Here the important point is, all the trihalides of these elements except, except that of nitrogen, they are stable. As far as the trihalides of nitrogens are concerned, only NF3 is stable and all trihalides except BIF3 are covalent in nature. Regarding group 16 halides, they form EX6, EX4 and EX2 type of halides and the stability of the halides will be in the order that the fluorides are more stable than the chlorides which in turn more stable than bromides and they are again more stable than the iodides. And among hexa halides, hexafluorides are stable. In them, sulfur hexafluoride is exceptionally stable due to the steric reasons. And another interesting point to notice, SEF, SF4 is a gas, SEF4 is a liquid and TEF4 is a solid. All elements except oxygen form dichlorides and dibromides. Actually, these dichlorides, they can undergo disproportionation reaction. Here, selenium in plus 1 state from plus 1 state is going to plus 4 state and 0. So, the same element is undergoing oxidation and reduction that is a disproportionation reaction can be observed here. And halogens react among themselves to form interhalogen compounds. They are of the types X X dash, X X dash 3, X X dash 5 and X X dash 7. Here, the X is a larger halogen, X dash is the smaller halogen.